So this has been a splendid evening uh, to celebrate our 100th module, covering a fantastic range of conditions, but this one particularly on an, a range of skin conditions. Uh, it's been a very successful project. We're looking forward to, to getting a good response to it. I was very loosely involved in the very beginnings of DIPEX and Health Talk. Um, and so I certainly was around for number one. It is staggering that we've now got a hundred conditions uh, that are being dealt with through DIPEX and, and Health Talk. Um, it's a sensational achievement and we've got to build on it still further. Um, I'm still a fan. We see as dermatologists the massive impact that skin conditions can have on young people in this age group and we were really keen to develop a resource for these really common conditions, acne, eczema, alopecia and psoriasis. And although we knew they would have some quite different and unique experiences to each condition, we also thought that'd be an, it'd be really interesting to have the same researcher kind of covering all four conditions and to see similar themes and hopefully, you know, work out how these could be made to improve the way we, work, we are as dermatologists and for this age group with a multitude of different problems. So it was, it's definitely not something you would talk to somebody about it. I think basically because if you do have acne that's bad enough for people to notice, you're probably not going to want to talk about it. So in a way, it would be a good idea to use the social network to spread the word about what's here on this site. Exactly. Yeah. As, as a teacher of medical students and junior doctors, I'll find this particularly useful um, to help those people who are learning just see skin conditions from the patient's point of view, that actually it's more than the sum of all the ointments and creams and pills that you might take for them. It's actually a much, much bigger picture. It was an absolute pleasure to meet so many young people around the UK um, and it was so kind that they welcomed me into their home and spoke so openly about their experience with these skin conditions um, for the project. What was it like for you? Was it liberating or awful? liberating to be honest. I, I personally done it so that other young people who have suffered from X-Men or um, the other conditions can, can kind of relate if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. A resource like this is fantastic for patients. They can come to their GPs or to their specialist and get advice about treatments but there's still a huge gap that needs to be filled about actually how do you live with these conditions? My own mother had alopecia, which is one of the, one of the conditions that is dealt with. And it, it really did affect her life very, very deeply. And uh, I think through what's on this site, anybody who's related to or is a friend of anybody with that kind of a condition, they'll learn so much. And really, life is normal. Those things which make life look abnormal are nothing just got to get on and accept the person for who they are. It can also be very difficult for people including friends and family to uh, understand how detrimental it can be to uh, your, your self-esteem and mental health and things like that so um, that's why I believe that this this site will be very important not just for the people who are suffering from the skin conditions but also friends and family who can read and understand that it's not just that single person in an isolatory kind of way that it will be um, so other people going through the same kind of thing. They can go online anytime, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and hear about the experience of people like them, um, and also potentially different experiences that they might not have thought of. So people that are at school that want to know what it's going to be like going to university. It's a real pleasure that this particular project on skins turns out to be the 100th module that, that we've done on, on Health Talk. Um, and that's because my, I, the application was written with Tess McPherson, consultant dermatologist. And she was, of course, daughter of Anne McPherson, who was the fun founder of the whole DIPEX project way back at the end of the last century. Anne McPherson was an exceptional person. She was able, in a way, to bring in all sorts of people and get their shoulders to the wheel. It is a wonderful thing that her legacy is 100 sites. I think for GPs and for health professionals, there's two elements. There's one, having a resource which you can signpost patients towards so that they can have the benefits I just described. Uh, but there's also probably a bit of 
education for them as well so that they can understand their patients better. Now we've launched our 100th module and there are 3,000, I believe, indexed medical conditions plus all the social care conditions. So I don't think we're short of other things to, to run projects on. Um, so yes, uh, onwards and upwards, I suppose, with the rest. Two, three, Brilliant, thank you very much.